This episode of the Cottrell Cast is sponsored by Coffee Underlined. Great, freshly roasted coffee for low, low prices. Grab a quick latte for only a pound or take some coffee home for only £4 for 200 grams from the wide range of great tasting coffees. That's Coffee Underlined in Ashton Underline. Well, here we are again for another edition of the Riveting Cottrell Cast. Woo! Can we have the usual round of applause? Yes, that... It's now become applicable. We always have to open up every single episode with a little round of applause. Episode number three. Yeah, we made it. We've nearly done a month. Hi, Michael. Hello, boys. Uh, so Michael, He's back again. Michael, yeah, Michael's back due to, a, well, I would say popular demand, but uh, no one likes you, so it's not popular demand, really. We felt that this edition really needed a boost, so that's why we have brought in Michael. And you're all on coffee. Yeah, Absolutely. and coffee, which we're going to be talking about soon. Um, but ha- how's everyone been? How's everyone's be- week been? Yeah, you all right, Michael? How are things? Fine. Last week was busy, obviously. Yeah? Quiz-wise. Yeah, nice was it? and closing on the microphone on, there, Michael. Getting nice. Kissing. Or it and, sounds uh, like you're in the bath. The party I went to on uh, Saturday was the best party I went to that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yeah, I heard that as well. As you can tell, if you're watching it uh, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the Cottrell cast, there's three balloons that Gareth's now messed with and now ruined the entirety oh, of the display. Go. I'm now holding them up. There we go, 30. They are flopping. Slightly. As if as if no one could, could see them, Gareth did have to hold them and wreck the whole display. So uh, thanks, Sorry. Gareth. Oh, and now it's following me around the studio. That's why I said don't touch them, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't we matter. need to think of a title for this podcast. <laughs> They've had a title, every single one so far. Should we think of the title when it's recorded and we know what we'll be talking about? Or maybe just later when I'm uploading it, I can just think of one, what we're talking about, yeah? That'd work. Yeah, that would work. One yeah. thing we do need to point out. What? You've no longer got four eyes. I haven't got four eyes anymore. Uh, if, if you're watching online again, um, youtube.com forward slash Cottrell Cast, I've got contact lenses. Incredible. You are a renowned glasses wearer. I am. I've worn them since year three. You're the type of person who glasses really, really suit. And it will be like Eric Morecambe not having glasses or Timmy Mallet not having glasses. You not having them, it, it well, just doesn't, doesn't do, quite look right. I do have glasses still upstairs and I've ordered some new ones as well, um, which means I will still have glasses. But you know what? I fancied a change because this is going to sound really weird, but for anyone that wears glasses, anyone will understand this, um, that... Having glasses in the summer is the worst thing Why? because you can't wear sunglasses unless you buy a prescription sunglasses, which are like 80 quid. What you could get is those Don't, flaps no, on the front. No, they look ridiculous. Which people have. So they just clip onto your normal glasses and then if it's a boiling hot day, flaps down. Flaps uh, down. If you don't for need old them, people. They are mainly for old people. I've just right. thought of a problem with that. If you had to have the flaps up, why would you have the flaps on in the first place? You just uncouple them. Yeah, well done, Gareth. Congratulations. But <laughs> I've only just realised that. Of course, Why have then, them up? And then the other just thing, hovering. Uh, the other hovering thing is that is, is the ones which like turn in the sunshine. So when it gets hot, well, well, sunny, they like change colour to sunglasses. But then when you go in a bright room, sunglasses, you don't need it. You Do you remember it. Dad told us a great story about this? Once on a hot day... Uh, he was reading outside, took his glasses off, and he put them down with a book slightly in front of it. Oh, yeah. He picked them up again, and half of the lens was dark and the rest clear. So he almost had a duo a duo shade of glass. Yeah, lovely. Michael, you, you, you're a glasses wearer. Do you find it annoying in the summer? Only from the perspective that when I get hot, they steam up from sweat and... Yeah, you know, and, uh, and, and also... I've never worn sunglasses until until this past week when I've had uh, when I've finally been able to wear sunglasses. I bought my first ever pair of sunglasses, and it's the best. Just on a hot day, not having to like squint all the time and have achy eyes from squinting. Achy breaky eyes. A- and hearts. Eyes, yeah. Yeah, eyes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, at the moment, if you are watching online, uh, we're we're making co- well, I'm making coffee. Um, Gareth, you want some milk? Could this be because this episode is sponsored by our good friend Brian? <coughs> it, it could be. Hopefully, coffee helps a cough. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's sponsored by Coffee Underline. 
Um, and we we each have coffee. The coffee uh, that we're drinking is uh, the coffee of the week. Michael's having another coffee. Which, which is I've what? Forgotten what it's called. What a pro. What a pro. What a pro. He um, never fails to surprise me ever. He just turns up here and he always knows what to say and how to say it. Yeah. Is one of these meant to be hurrah? The, the one that me and you are drinking now is hurrah. That is the coffee of the month over at Coffee Underline. Okay. How much sugar are you putting in yours? I really don't like coffee. <laughs> is it called hurrah because we're cheering for it or is it spelt differently? It's Ethiopian coffee. Ooh, look at him there. Um... We've actually introduced Michael into coffee. Yeah, Michael's vegan. Is this the case? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I've always yes. loved the smell of coffee. Never got around to tasting it. Um, a bit like bacon. That's on next week's podcast. But that's good. Um, yeah, you Michael... really on, only ever tend to drink lager, don't you? Yeah. During the day. Yeah. Um, so we decided oh. we would help you out slightly and introduce you to something that's non-alcoholic. Coffee. I didn't think I'd enjoy it at first. Mainly because of the lack of alcohol. But then, with whiskey in it, he loves it. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Exactly. Yeah, so Michael's vegan, uh, which means that obviously he can't have milk in it. So he does uh, He does have it black. I need your spoon, if okay. that's all right. Do you want, uh, do you want that? Do you want sugar? sugar? Yeah. A do proper want... sugar dispenser and everything. Yeah, so uh, Coffee in the Line have, have kindly given us some samples of the coffee. Michael, which would, would you, have you finished your coffee? I have, yes. Would you like some more? Would you, would you like the one you had before or the, the new one? I'll try the new one. The new one. Hurrah! Cheers. So there you go, Michael. You can pour it. Well, it's nice, this. we got some nice coffee to a keep us warm. A little tea party. It's um, nice. Me and Alex uh, shared a piece of birthday cake. Well, I say shared, a piece each. I meant shared a, a bit of the cake that we cut off. It was not some weird half each, and we nibbled it until our faces met. Um Thanks for that, Gareth. Also from Gareth's, uh, Gareth's birthday party, that that cake, I don't know whether I should tell you how much it was. I think I already know. It was £50. That's not bad, is it? I mean, for a cake, for a cake? I wouldn't spend in M&S £50 on a cake. But I mean, it had your name on it. It, had, it was massive, though, as well. It was huge. Really thick. It was, yeah. It, was, it, it had a good girth. Um, Coming up on the show, not only will we be waffling about coffee, but I've also prepared some stuff for you. Thanks. Please calm down. Don't be too excited about this. Is it this. anything to do with fruit and veg again? And no, but it's something which I guarantee you will try. You oh, will try, okay. and the people here in this, as soon as they hear it, they're going to try it just to confirm that what I've said is factual. Okay, I have some. Uh, I have some. Uh, some stupid things. Some. Uh, some of those things. You know the things. News articles. What do you have, Michael? <coughs> I've got some fantastic, funny jokes. Oh, oh no. it's not that stupid joke book, is it again? No, look, oh. look, it's a separate sheet. Oh. One sheet. And if you've got time, got a quiz. Oh. And then a feature which I've just invented, what's on Michael's no. tablet? let's not play that because... Um, <laughs> it's safe this week, don't Is it? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, my good grief. By the way, um, can I just point out that um, I'm wearing the clothes I am for a good reason, and if my hair looks a bit down and... A, oh, not my headphones off. If it looks different, that's because... Um, half an hour before coming on air, I I had a shower because I've been on a massive bike ride with Johnny, who was the guest last week. Uh, we went to Gorton practically and back again, and I'm sat on a cushion. No because one listening will will know what you mean. I'm a bit sad. Where's Gorton? Well, Go- no one knows. Actually, Gorton has a world famous monument, Gorton Monastery, which is in the top six listed buildings in the world. There you go. Lovely. Gareth, you wear your headphones very forward. I've just realised that. Do I? Yeah, like really what? forward. The cover is uh, receding hairline. I think oh, yeah. it is. Look, because we all, right. wear, we all wear them way back here. Right, how's that? No, Is still, that better? Come here. What? What do you mean? That's where... No, that's no, they where feel weird. Wear headphones. They feel weird. That's weird. I've just noticed yeah. that. I haven't... Really? Yeah, no wonder they all fall off your, your, your face or on your forehead. <laughs> they call, oh, there we go. <laughs> that's nearly exactly what you were doing before. Uh, yeah, I have some news articles. Uh, Gareth, go on. Tease us. Well, tell us, actually, what your thing is. Come on. Would you like the whole feature now? Yeah, I'd like the whole thing now. Give it to me. Do we have a jingle? Music, please, maestro. I'll have to find it first. <laughs> To drive away your friends, lull your granny into a deep sleep, then why not try our thought-provoking facts of the week? Da, 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 da. 
I'm really paranoid about my headphones now. Yeah, it's really and far And I'll forward. be there just checking. Yeah, they're, they're on backwards like that. I wonder that's why, for the past two years on air every day, they fall off my head. Yeah, that's why, because they're too far forward. Look, they're like here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, God, that is why. I don't have them like that. That is where you wear your headphones. I wear them back here. Anyway, go right, on, feature. Sorted. So... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the third instalment of my useless feature. Okay. Basically, it's like last week and every other week, but there's a segment here which is fascinating, which for any feature that I do is a rarity. Only three kinds of animals form armies. What are they? This is to Michael. Go on, Tony. Ants. Yeah, Ants. Yes. That's Tigers. The first one. Nope. Gorillas. Nope. Human beings. Yes. Very well done, no. Michael. Um, What's the next oh, one? Um, an army of. Uh, let's see. What could it be? Termites. Nope. Ooh. Cats. What was I that? Just hit my tooth on oh, the microphone. Yeah. Now it's falling to bits. This. Cats. No. The answer is crows. No. How many years have jellyfish been on the earth? Um, oh, like f- five thousand. Oh, that long. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna be three fifty, two hundred fifty million. Six hundred and fifty million, Michael. Oh. Wow. Now this is the one which people listening at home and you okay. yourselves are gonna check because you won't believe me. This is all about body parts and sizes. Oh no, no. Michael, put it away. The first one. Your foot is the same size as your thigh. Oh, yeah, and also that. Yes. Same size as, as what? your foot. Is it? Yeah. I don't believe that. No, it is. Watch. Go on. Oh, I can't get my... My goodness, it actually is. Although, when you look at that, that looks huge. My foot is not that ne- big. Next one here. A pea is the same size as Fraser's brain. That is That's true. That's got to be true. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> your fist is the same size as what? Your mouth. Nope. Heart. Yes. How do you know these, Michael? I am the quiz master. It's Michael. Yeah, that's your why. Your hand is the same size as what? Face. Yes. How does he know all these? What's the world record for the longest beard? And this continues on to a great funny ending. I shouldn't really laugh. But oh, it's I will funny. Um, 800 feet. <laughs> An 800 foot beard. <laughs> Could be a thing. Is the record held by that uh, person who won Eurovision? <laughs> oh, my. Awful. What would you. More about that later. So, the world record for the longest beard. What would that be? 800 feet. I'm sticking with my original one. I reckon nine feet. It was 4.5 foot, but how did the man die? I was close. He got strangled by his own beard. What did you say, Michael? Cut himself shaving. (laughs) His beard got tangled in his feet and he fell downstairs and broke his neck. But if you think about this, right, it says 4.5 foot, right, his beard was. How small must he have been? For the beard to have had enough length over to get wrapped around his ankles, he'd have had to have been literally about three foot. Good point. The final one. You can't talk whilst inhaling through your nose. Is that true or false? Try it. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) I was like... (laughs) I was like, that's where it's at. Live on the podcast. You know what? False. (laughs) No, I was after you. Work. you. can't do that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another riveting one there. There we go, Alex. Wow, great stuff. Well, I'm talking that. about... Uh, yeah, yeah, friends yeah, with that. That's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Why well am the only one clapping? Because, uh, yeah, you're the only one that th- thought it was, it was worth that. Uh, so I found uh, an article here. Um, most ten, uh, Top 10 most hilariously unlucky deaths. I bet they aren't hilarious, are they? Um, oh, is this, this that site... Darwins.com or something. No, we were telling no, us no, about. it's on a blog, this. Oh, the Darwin Awards. That's a great website, that is. Mm. Loads of these on it. Um, so Michael Anderson um, was a convicted murderer. Always good to start the story with. Um, I love a good murder. 
He managed to convince the jury as appeal that the person he, he murdered had it coming. Um, either that or he paid them off. I don't know where this is going more. Uh, this is uh, this is more of an ironic death, to be honest. He was found sitting naked on a metal toilet seat, uh, stone cold dead. How did he die? He was trying to fix a television and electrocuting himself. Why was he trying to fi- fix the t- television while on the toilet? He electrocuted himself. Yeah, but... On the toilet? Yeah. That's inconvenient. That is inconvenient, isn't it? I like how you prep as we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that is the way. That is the only well, way I to do it. I wouldn't say it's that funny. It's not funny, is it, really? Uh, why don't you tell us some of them, Michael, the ones that were on that television show you watched the other day. Oh, there was that one. Um, a scarf in a car. Tell us about oh, that. Oh, yeah. That it, was a good one. Isadora Duncan, the famous dancer in the 20s. She, uh, she was famous for wearing long, flowing silk scarves. And yeah. She was dro- riding in an open-top car one day, and the silk scarf got wrapped around the wheel of the car, and it dragged her out of the car, and she died from a fatal head injury. What an awful way Can to die. Can you imagine that? What an awful way it to die. It would have basically ripped your head off. Yeah, it, that? clean off. Yeah, All that, I, I was talking today. I was in Spec Savers, um, and for some reason, the conversation came up. Um, how would you like to die? Now, I was thinking about this quite a lot. Do, do you get asked that a lot? Yeah, <laughs> you see, yeah, mostly by strange men in strange alleys. But um, no, no, not like that. Um, and I was thinking, I want something quick, you know, pow, gone, kind of thing. And I was thinking, although it sounds horrible. A brain thing, you know that thing aneurysm. That, yeah, a brain aneurysm, where basically it's just gone. You, you, you know, it, it's just you suddenly see, one day, bam. But I was thinking, I like to have it while I was eating, just like McDonald's or something. Just really enjoying myself. Bam, I'm gone. Imagine that. You know, how did he die doing something he loved? Well, <laughs> you know, I want to die peacefully, just how my granddad did. Fell asleep and uh, not like the passengers did on his bus. <laughs> How wow. long have we got left on what, this podcast? What an awful we, joke. Michael, do you have any jokes? But. I've got loads, actually. Oh, good. You know, even now, you know, my grandma's final words are up in my head. I've never forgotten oh, them. I've heard this on the Gareth, phone. put the hammer down. Oh, dear. Here we are, the cocktail cast, everyone. We've really struggled with Do you know what I've forgotten here. to bring this week? What? Your hammer? Tumbleweed. Tum- yeah. No, it's no, over there. there. plenty of it We over have there. our own in the attic. Yeah. Yeah. Storing it. Um, a few things here I've found, which is things we know now that we didn't know this time last week. If you'd like to get your lug holes around these. Yeah, go on. The first one is Calvin Harris has been offered £7 million per year for a residency in a club in Las Vegas. What? No, so I wasn't listening. Sorry. The Go next on, one, on. the average person under 35 wears headphones for three and a half hours a day. I wear them longer. Ours oh. is longer. Yeah. Because easily. you, I'm on you need them for work. Four hours. Yeah, exactly. Hang on, yeah. Calvin Harris. Yeah. Is he the jeans designer? No, he's the DJ. Well, I'm thinking of Calvin Klein, sorry. The next one... Was that a joke? I <laughs> can't nearly, tell. Nearly. <laughs> There's going to... Oh, Michael will love this. Um... Going to be a Family Guy crossover with The Simpsons. Really? That which, will really be aired, cool. which will be aired um, in the UK in the next six months. Wow. Um, when a lady decides it's time to take her relationship to the next level, it takes a staggering six hours to get ready for that date. Six hours? That's insane. That is crazy. I bet that's keep an on, average keep as on well. Keep banging, banging your iPad on the brick there. On the brick. <laughs> that's, uh, that's holding your microphone up. And the next one, the MOD has lost or had stolen over £660,000 worth of equipment in the last year. That is mental. That's What's really bad. The though, Ministry of Defence. Yeah. What does that include, like, tanks and stuff? No, I think... Someone just walking off with a tank. What's that under your top? Nothing. It's Nothing. socks. It sucks. Do you know what? No. In the armed forces, no, though... No, your trousers. In the armed forces, like in the army, if you lose your rifle, they charge you for it. If, you, if you're driving a tank and you lose that, you get charged for that. No, you don't. That's true. That's why captains always go down with the ship. Is that true? <laughs> no, it was a joke. I, oh, can't, right, okay. I can never decide with no, Michael I can't. whether he's joking or not. What country would you say <laughs> has been revealed as the world's biggest drinkers? It's not the UK, by the way. Oh, well, Michael alone. <laughs> Ireland. Um, nope. Oh, Fraser? Scotland. Nope. Oh, hang on. Is it one of those questions China because they've got more people? Nope. Oh. <laughs> USA? Nope. Germany? Nope. S- uh, Sweden? Nope. France? Nope. Iceland? Nope. I don't know. Go on. Could Russia. 
Russia. Oh, of course. Blimey, the the next vodka. one. What yeah. would you say is the most nostalgic smells, according to a recent survey? Dust. Petrol. Dust? Yeah. You know when you go into like an old basement or something and that like musty Damp. smell? Damp. Damp rather and than dust. Nostalgic. Oh, it smells amazing. And you said Brings one just memories. before that. Uh, must. No. One before that. D- uh, dust. No. no. Probably McDonald's. You said razor. dust and must. You said petrol, Fraser. Oh, petrol. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's one of them. Sorry. What's the other one? Uh, I don't know. Newborn baby. The newborn baby? Why have you been no, smelling no. newborn baby? <laughs> He's always there <laughs> in the maternity ward. <sighs> well, until I was banned, yeah. Oh, no, it's actually bubble gum. Oh. oh. 70% of us don't know what we're doing when shopping for wine. <laughs> That's very uh, true. Yeah, not a clue. I, I don't believe this when people say that, oh, I can, taste, I can taste flowers, I can taste this and all no, that. To me, wine is just wine. And horrible. if you put a cheap one next to a really expensive one, I wouldn't have a clue. The next one, Richard and Judy have agreed to an assisted death pact. Duh. Meaning if one of them is terminally ill, oh. then the other one who's not terminally ill will help them die. That's illegal in the UK. Wow. More than one in five women say they suffer from anxiety most or all of the time. And this is almost double the number it was five years ago. Women who drive whilst pregnant are much more likely to crash. And the next one, what percentage of people surveyed, so out of 100, said that having a flat battery on their mobile phone was the most stressful thing they could experience. Oh, my God, a lot, like 80%. Michael? 60. 91%. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I imagine that being really high. And the final one, what country holds the record for the most billionaires? Um, uh, What's it called, that place, Dubai? Nope. China? Nope. Oh. England? Yes. Really? UK? No way. I wouldn't have thought of that. Crazy. Uh, okay, so here's my feature quickly. Uh, seven bizarre sex stories that you couldn't make up. Hit the jingle. Are you ready for these? Pretty funny. Come on, Alex. The guy who tried to have sex with a drinks trolley on a train. How come yours are always dirty? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the guy who tried to have sex with an ambulance. Uh, the guy who tried to have sex with a car wash, va- uh, wash vacuum. Uh, the vicar hospitalised with a potato up his bum. Uh, the guy who had sex with his girlfriend's <laughs> dog. And a guy who tried to have sex with a sheep after a cow turned him down. <laughs> oh. um, hold on a minute. Oh, hold on. And here, wait, How wait. Did... Here's the final one. The guy who likes cheese a bit too much. How I know did... him. Yeah, <laughs> I think you do. How did he know that the cow turned him down? Should we have a look? Yeah. Um, hold on. Let, let's read this one. Because um, an IT worker, of course, an IT worker, yeah. uh, tried to have sex with a sheep after a cow turned him down. Not a clue. It doesn't really... Uh, the court uh, The court heard uh, he did it. He did not successfully... Oh, no. Okay. No. No. That's just rude. <laughs> hold on. No. Right. Wait. <laughs> not reading that. Rude. I, Absolutely I am filthy. no way, shape or form saying that having intercourse with an animal is right. Well, it's illegal as well. <laughs> it is. But... He surely met, he met my first wife then. Oh, but but surely, how would you know if if he didn't want it? I don't know. Maybe to, well, sure, no animal would want. No animal would go. Yeah, go on, go for it. It's a little bit worrying. <laughs> oh, though, isn't oh it? I don't know. I, 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 I mean, obviously, Michael, you might know. Talk. Yes, I'm just so I'm, no. I'm absolutely disgusted. Well, tell us, Michael. The cow. I'm moved. <laughs> when you're when you're normally at the farm, yes. How do you know if which animals are up for it and which aren't? I think they give me the nod. This has suddenly turned... Give you the eye. So th- this podcast has suddenly taken a very dark turn. But this one can be titled Animals. Oh, yeah, Animals. The uh, title has been created, ladies and gentlemen. Animals do stupid things. Um, so I'm, I'm just having a second cup here of uh, hurrah. But where was the hurrah coffee from, Fraser? It was from Coffee Underlined in Ashton Underline. And does that do nice, reason- reasonably priced coffee, Fraser? Not just reasonably priced, cheap priced and fresh, lovely coffee. Are you being paid to say that? Yes. 
<laughs> you know what you said about wine before? You won't be able to tell the difference between expensive or cheap. You've got to say the same about coffee. It, well, it is for me because those two just taste exactly the same. Mm. Yeah, I'd, but I can... I can not... tell a big difference from instant oh, yeah. and proper coffee. Yeah, yeah. If I you can have, certainly do if that. If you have instant coffee, it tastes cheap and it tastes horrible. Oh, but I've I can't... never had instant coffee. So. Although, I can tell the difference in smells. Not taste, but smells of coffee, I can tell the difference. Because we have two in there, and I'll give you a smell of them all later, and they taste com- they, they smell completely different. Um, we may be doing the podcast on location mm. very soon, because uh, we've been talking to a few people, and they've actually invited us down to bring the whole crew to their premises or even their homes. So that should be fun. Are you up for that, Michael? Yes. Uh, yeah. Are you doing one in Thank the pub? You, no, we're not. Sorry, oh, We Michael. aren't allowed to because you would basically get trolled. The other day... No, wouldn't. The problem, well, last night, Michael Comerf went, Hi, Fraser, how do you fancy uh, doing a feature in a brewery? Oh, not again. And I went, oh, Michael. Michael. You mean again? Which one this time? It's... Uh, I'll just plug it now. You know the <laughs> Harewood Arms in Broadbottom? <laughs> Yeah. It's there. Isn't that where we went last time? Nope. That was the Sportsman. That would was be it? the third brewery. Well, actually, it was a Griffin, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah. It was I the... know you've done one at the Lowe's Arms, haven't you? The Lowe's Arms, we mm. did that. The one which was... Yeah, we did. The, where was the other one? The Griffin in Haslingdon. Yes, that was the one. And this one's in Broadbottom in the cellar of that uh, pub. Great. Right. Do the quiz. Go on, Michael. Uh, give, us, uh, give us it. Pardon? Give me some. <laughs> give it to me, Michael. Are you up for that then? Yeah. Right. Uh, give me, give me some. What you brought? Give me some jokes, Michael. Give it to me. My heart is like missing beats. I think is of all the coffee I've right. had. Right. I'll, I'll start off and pass the sheet round, shall I? Yeah. Could we do the podcast there? We can, I can ask. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, my wisdom teeth are really hurting. Just so you all I know, have toothache. I've, I've, I've been got having really for the past week and a half. I've been having the worst wisdom teeth pain in the world. I hope it hurts. It really does hurt. <laughs> jokes, really please, does. Michael. What do you call someone who hangs around musicians? A r- musician. Go on. A, f- a fan of a musician. A drummer. That's true. <laughs> that is <Well>. true. <clears throat> there we go. He's getting prepared. How do you mend a broken tuba? Uh, I don't know. With a tuba glue. Oh, my. That's quite good, actually. <laughs> um, how do lizards find each other? They tongue the way. Gecko location. What? I don't Echo get it. Loca- oh, Echo location. It's like mm. so I've never heard of that. Not a clue. Echo what location. Do you want what? some coffee, Alex? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> he looked, don't, don't put don't it over the desk. It. Oh, oh, oh no! no. Now. Oh no! And now it's all over the white carpet. Which uh... white carpet? I better, I better not tell a joke now. If he laughs, he'll spill his coffee. He oh. won't laugh at your yeah, joke. No, he won't, will he? Do you want some milk? Go on, carry on. What do you call a girl with meat on her head? Um, ha- ha- hammer. Ham- ha- Hannah? Hammer? No. I don't know. Barbie. That's Barbie? Barbecue, Barbie. Oh, goodness me. R- oh, n- right. I always get really mixed up on these ones where it's a conversation because I'll say, patient, I can't feel my legs. Doctor. When it's meant to go, yeah. this, right. The patient says... I can't feel my legs. And the doctor returns and says, that's because we've amputated your arms. <laughs> that's quite good. Uh, um, what do nuclear scientists eat for dinner? Um, this is quite clever. Fission chips. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> more? Yeah, you want more? I want more. Give me more, Michael. Why did the decorator nail a rug to the wall? I don't know. Because he wanted a matte finish. Where are these from? I really hope there's someone listening to this podcast in absolute fits on the train. Oh, they will just, be. Just they will me. be. He's just there, just, you know, in making a fool of himself. Go on, Gareth, come on. Learn to read. What is an egg? I don't know. What is an egg? Any ideas? No. Um, it's an Eskimo oh. without a toilet. Eskimo house without a toilet. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, an igloo. Mm. That's quite funny. <laughs> when it, well when done, it's said properly. Yeah, yeah well All done. in the time, then. Um, what do you get if you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? Just over halfway. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, okay, dear. that's enough. I can't handle any more, really? Michael. No, I truly Hold on, can't how many more anymore. are there left? Uh, not I many. Know. 
Oh, let's finish him off. Oh, dear. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a bee with a lizard? I don't know. A blizzard. <laughs> 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 That's a clever one, right, Where are you now? Um, patient, I'm having trouble sleeping. Doctor, lie on the, lie on the E-D-C-E. Edge. Oh, why does it say E-D-C-E? You get some new contacts if I were you. Uh, no, I thought it says E-D-C-E. Oh, it must be a spelling mistake. <coughs> Have that. Edge. Um, edge, it is. Lie on the edge of your bed and you'll soon drop off. Wow. Yeah, was, uh, that was that was really good. Stuff. Yeah, I love that. Torture to continue, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please, well. give me some more. Give it to me, Michael. Two fish were in a tank. One says, do you fish. know how to drive this thing? I've heard that loads of times. In a, a tank? tank. A t- a, Did you get it? Tank. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, good. Why did the hedgehog cross the road? To get to the other side. No, oh. to see his flatmate. <laughs> get it's it? just uh, offensive, actually, get it? and a little bit upsetting. Why? Um, why do... Oh, no. Why do milking s- stools only have three legs? One. Because the cow... Because the cow has the udder. The cow has the other. Oh, great! Thanks, Michael. Ooh, I feel, yeah. I feel, I feel a little bit sick actually. After uh, it coffee, all, yeah, it might be all the coffee I've had actually. Um, wow, that was great! Another my wisdom teeth hurt. Big thank you to our sponsor. Not again! Coffee Blame underline. Not. They, haven't, they haven't paid for this many. They Calm have, down, Gareth. Have. Calm it's down, look, Michael. Give us a quiz. If they invest in us, I have more here. I don't want more off you. I'm sick of hearing you. Come on, go, come on, Michael. Give it to me. I want more. Really? Do you want a quiz? Yeah, I want a quiz. Do have you have to write anything down? Got one lined up? Yes, I have. But instead of you? writing the answers down, I'll just give the question. We'll shout them. Yeah. Yeah. That'll save time. That'll save time. Yeah, let's do that, that Michael. Effort. I've got to find it now on the pad. Uh, remember to subscribe to the podcast as well, just so you get it uh, whenever we release it. Downloads to your iDevice every Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever we decide to release it. Last week on iTunes, a big response, and we saw lots of people yeah. downloading it and subscribing to it so yeah, thank you thanks, very much for thanks that. thank you uh also if you are listening to uh to it on your apple device uh youtube.com forward slash cotrocast if you want to see us in in the flesh and bones and watch the, us in the nude yeah i've got no pants on michael don't look <laughs> <laughs> sorry I could, I could i didn't have to look i can smell it <laughs> <laughs> oh, that definitely is the coffee go on <laughs> <laughs> the quiz Shout your name out first okay. for your answer. Yeah. Gareth! Fraser! Wrong. Oh, <laughs> just testing the buzzer. From which tree do conkers come Gareth. from? Gareth. Um, a... Uh, Fraser, harsh chestnut tree. Correct. You, you, you know, he couldn't, he can't do it. Too delay. slow. I've got a stammer. <laughs> couldn't say it in time. Two, what kind of hat was Tommy Cooper famous? Gareth. Fraser, oh. Fez. Correct. It's one each. In your face, Ginger. <laughs> Next one, which Greek mathematician... Gives his name to a theorem relating to triangles. Fraser. Algebra. Nope. No, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Gareth. Doctor Divide. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, triangles. You learn about this in maths. Yeah, I fail my maths. Um, I don't know. Give me the answer. Oh, there'll be people shouting this. At the... Give me the answer, Michael. It, Just give it to me. Pythagoras. <sighs> Not a clue. Go on. Right, you have to be... Well, you have to be quick with this. What was Elvis Presley's middle name? Gareth. No, it wasn't Gareth. <laughs> Elvis Gareth Presley. Clive. No. Everybody knows this. They don't. I don't know that. Oh. I don't know. Aaron. Aaron? I, I never yeah. knew that. Well, Aaron? Stu- Aaron? Stu- Aaron stupid Aaron. name. Well, whoever gets this... Oh, I might have to go to a tie break. Go on. Name either... Of the weights at which Ricky Hatton fought. Gareth. Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> welterweight Cor- and lightweight welterweight. Correct, that's uh, both of them. Well done. Damn, has he won? Yes, he has won. He's won, well done, Gareth. That was over quickly, wasn't it? I was, I'm going home now. Oh, I am home. Damn, I can't go anywhere. Just have to sit here. I'm tired. Coffee. I am tired as well. My wisdom teeth are really I hurting. like how... Um, I thought, ah, coffee, I'll be fired up. But actually, it's had a complete reverse effect on me. Okay. And I'm exhausted. Quick question. How do you know if you ne- if you have to get your wisdom teeth pulled out? Because I'm a little bit scared. Ask a dentist. Yeah, but I don't want to go to the dentist. He scares me. 
Like, I mean, anyone that prods around with sharp tools in your mouth really scares me. He, you said to me that my wisdom teeth should come out fine. But when a dentist says they should yeah. come out I, fine, well, that normally means, hey, I'm going to take them out and charge you £8,000 well, for the privilege of having them taken out. I had mine filled the other day. Um, and after it, he said, um, now, the filling went well, but I might need to eventually take it out. I was thinking, well... I did it wrong. Well, hold on <laughs> a minute, hold on a minute. Out. Why not have taken it out in the first place, rather than going round in a full circle, saying, well... Oh, oh Michael. Sorry, Michael. Saying, actually, I'll fill it, I'll do a bit of work on it, but then rip it out eventually anyway. Yeah, my, uh, my, my top wisdom tooth, it, yeah, money, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My, my it's coining it in. My wisdom tooth, it feels like it, it's coming in at an angle, and that means bad, apparently. That's an impacted wisdom tooth, so I'm really scared. Impacted wisdom tooth. That's when it. So it's when it grows at an angle and it's pulling out all the other teeth. Wisdom teeth are a real pain. Yeah, I re- I, I, Ev- I'm, I'm really having to them. suffer off them. But I don't want to go. I never did. Didn't you? And uh, you won't believe this, but I've still got my own teeth at my age. Let's have a look. Look at that. They're all real. I know yeah. a lot of them are more metal than tooth. Yeah. No. How but... often do you brush your teeth? Twice a day. Morning and evening. Yes. Electric or manual? Manual. Alex, how many times a day? Twice. Fraser, how Twice. many times a day? How many about you? <laughs> Six. <coughs> you see, that's over Six times a day. <coughs> I'm having teeth. a real time you can't here. Sorry, brush your teeth, surely. Yeah, you I can. I think do. you can. Yeah, do. you can. Who, who here flosses? No. I floss. I really hurt. On the back molars. Do you as well? I floss everywhere. Well, in my mouth. Excuse me. (laughs) See, (laughs) what are you doing? I read all about this, that um, if you brush too much, uh, it will take off the enamel on your teeth and also pushes your gums too far up. Receding gums. Receding gums. Well, then then you brush brush your gums to bring them down again. Do you? That's what I've been told. No, that's not true. You you, you sort of massage them so they... Yeah. Well, that's a lot of rubbish. Really? Well, sure I know. Let's get a dentist on the show. Yeah, let's get a dentist on the show. I know mine. Show, because I I'd have him on. Tell him about my fame and wisdom tooth. You can check me out here in Asun so he can't charge me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 honestly, that that is the reason why I'm not going to the dentist because I know I'm going to have to pay like £15 for a check. I'm not doing that. I'll just get a mirror. You know the first thing he's going to you know. say when he sees our teeth, don't you? Coffee stains. Or it, yeah. He'll yeah, go, yeah. no, no, no. Or, it, or he'll tap him and go, Big job, that. Yeah, big job. I have to take them all out. That's that's eight million pounds. That's well, at cost. least it will be able to fill some time. Oh dear me, Michael, that was awful. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna have to go to the dentist because they're really hurting Open me up. now. Open so up. I'll have a look at these bad boys. No, put your head up. Uh, oh, down they're taking out. Yeah, every yeah. single one. And in fact, I think well. those will have to go as well. Yeah. From the very front, front. front two need to come out. Yeah. No, no, but I do need teeth out. I know I need teeth out, so I'm really scared. Why? I don't want teeth out. Really hurts. It doesn't really hurt. It does, because my when dentist. I was a kid, when I was a kid, you, the, the dentist used to jam things in my mouth. And sometimes, once, not like that. How did I know? <laughs> when, <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, he, 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 was, he, he, was just, he, he just used to jam things into my mouth. Right. And uh, they always used to go wrong. Something always wrong used to come out. Is he <laughs> is he now serving a sentence or <laughs> he is, yeah, along with Rolf Harris. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Are we yeah. allowed to touch well yeah, actually yeah, it's all right. yes it's we the are podcast. because it doesn't matter. Pedophiles, it's the let's podca- talk about them. You can phrase that. Yeah, we can do, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> why no, do you honestly want to talk about that? <laughs> honestly now, isn't it just me or, or is like every single celebrity now a pedophile? I don't understand this. It, it's like every every day there's a new pedophile. What were they Surely, all up to right. in the eighties? Surely it isn't a new invention. They must have it's not an invention. Had. No, yeah. but <laughs> it's not a thing you buy. There, they yeah must have always existed. But why is it now that every single day it money. seems like more and more reckon, yeah. are just cropping up? It's money. People what? jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, there was a there was a woman on uh, on them with the Rolf Harris story. She sold the story for thirty three thousand pounds back then. No, yeah, that back lot, then, though, can you imagine how much it's worth now, like, for all these that are going to the press? Flaming heck. But is it worth it? I've got it? something to admit. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, but, I mean, that I think it is all money. I, I don't think some of them are real. I just... 
I say it's, it's pretty. Uh, it's I don't know why it's all happening now. Yeah. That's the one thing I don't get. Where if it if it happened to you in the seventies, why have you waited all this time? Just now. Well, I think there are some valid reasons, but I mean, come on now. I mean, 2013 was the year of celebrity paedophiles. Turns out 2014 is going to be the same. It's just carrying on, isn't it? Okay, it is. All um, because of Savile. All because he of Savile. He kicked it all off. Flaming X Savile, sort it out. Well, um, he has. He has, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sadly. No, not not sadly. I never know what to say about his death. Was it a sad death? <laughs> is there like... Is it bad it, that he died or is it not? Go, I don't like know what to say. Jimmy Savile, rest in peace. Yeah, I mean... No one does. Well, well, like... well, when he died, yes, but now, everyone, is, it, is it good he's dead or not? I don't know. The actual Would he have carried worst on? thing about it is that there was about a month and a half after he died when none of this came out. And there was people going on TV saying, what a great entertainer. Yeah, oh The dear. BBC even showed this documentary, documentary basically it. celebrating his life. And then all of that came out and it was like, uh, yeah. um, I think we should erase that from the archive. Oh my, awful. Anyway, enough about paedophiles and dentists. Oh no, I could go <laughs> on further. Good. Uh, I think that's it. I think we should wrap it up, guys. How long have we been on uh, for? A long time. Does anyone know? Half an hour. It can't just be half an hour. No, it's not half Normally, an hour. Normally, it's about a 48 minute. I don't believe that that's half an hour. Hold on, let me check. It can't be half yeah, an hour. Yeah, half an hour. That is ridiculous. I'm well, flown by. Where, Michael, do you have any... Do, do you have more any time more? to talk about what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, paedophiles. Must we? <laughs> don't, don't, don't you have more, Gareth? You said you have a little more for us. Of these things here? I don't know what they well, are. Well, it's the same same format. Same format. Just give us break a, it up a yeah, bit. Break yeah, break it up a bit. Come on, give it give it to me. When your wee, a small oh, no. amount of <laughs> wee enters your mouth through what? the saliva glands. Oh, for goodness sake. It's such a tiny amount that you can't taste it or even sense it. Saying that, I'm going to Google for this uh, news article while I, while I talk about it. Um, Speaking of toilet. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you need it? Not yet, I can hang on. <laughs> All right then. Um, Welcome to the new four-hour-long podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I read news article the coffee. that there's cocaine in our water. I don't believe this. No, I now, don't. No, okay. So basically, um, the, the 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 UK have so much cocaine apparently that it's become a thing now that it's in our water because people put it into the toilet. It filters through. And it ends up in our drinking water, apparently. Here's the headline. Cocaine um, cocaine use in Britain, so widespread, it can be found in our drinking water. Trace of cocaine can be found in our drinking water, uh, tests have shown. Inspections of tap water discovered um, metabolic... Metabolical. Yeah, form <laughs> of the illegal drug. Researchers said the levels were so low that they posed no danger to health. So, I mean, we wouldn't know, but I mean... You know, I've had cocaine. And I Good can tell you. you, it was a very pleasant experience. It was just like drinking water. And I had it just before we came on air. Yeah, <laughs> did you? I, well, technically, we all Can I just say, coffee. that is a complete joke, and, and I haven't had drugs just before we came on air here. I have. I'm when you sneeze, all your bodily kind. functions momentarily stop, including your heart. Did you know that one? I have sneezing fits. Does that mean that, like... I'm just going like, <laughs> wow. He's having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. The next one, this explains our problem, Fraser. Okay. Creative people have a short attention span and are easily distracted and tend to talk to themselves more often. I'm like a dog. Honestly. Dad before, is oh the worst. My God. Talking yeah. to himself. He has a full conversation, not with two people, five of them yeah, the no, other day, on- and he is the whole five person yeah honestly i talk to myself all the time i'm not gonna lie i I, i'll be in the shower talking to myself it's just it's just a nice way i don't have many friends so why not make them am i the only one who not not in some creepy way but he is he is voices in the head i don't mean like (laughs) weird voices no i mean like almost people talking to you in your head no you're not alone gareth Am I not? No, because when I'm in the pub, right, <laughs> oh, I, we go. I say, right, no more beer for me. And the little voice say, go on, one more. <laughs> no, I actually you hear should, voices in my head. You should probably see someone about I that. do. Yeah. All right, that's pretty weird. Not, not many, only only four or five. Oh, on the subject of sneezing, 
Don't try this at home, but if you hold your nose when you sneeze, you, you can actually burst an eardrum. eardrum yeah. Yeah. Can you really? Don't oh, try this at case. home. Why well, would you do it anyway? Yeah, why would I, you? I know you squeeze your nose to prevent a sneeze, but if you're accidentally to sneeze while you're holding your nose, that's dangerous. Oh, <laughs> if you did that, though, and sneezed, does the air then <laughs> come out of your ears? Yeah. Because that like, would be a uh, great party trick. Put some flour <laughs> in your <laughs> ear <laughs> Don't try that at home, either. Sneeze, <laughs> hold your nose, and go, <laughs> That would be amazing. I'd love to see that. That'd be great. <laughs> the next one, did you know this? This is interesting. We actually live about 80 milliseconds in the past because that's how long it takes our brains to process the information. Uh, the right. average brain, you mean? Yeah, mine's instant. Mine is like clockwork, my brain. Works incredible. You all right there, Gareth? <laughs> it's um, taking you a while to process what's on the piece of paper in front of you, actually, <laughs> I think, there. Sorry, I'm living in the past. Do you want to hear my new, uh, my new impression of a computer? Yes, please. Okay, <laughs> you're Oh, <ready>. good. <laughs> However, I did like the old one so much, <laughs> yeah, so okay. hopefully this you're is ready. a big improvement. Hello, dear, my name is... Microsoft Sam, the computer default toys. Could you do I, that? Not, not I, punching yourself I have in the to chest? Do that because well, because it makes it like dark. Hello see. there, my name is Microsoft Sam, the it's computer the default toys. It's the same. Hello dear. My computer doesn't do that. It's the same. You can make it control panel. <laughs> that is a. No, 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 his goes. Hello Sorry, dear. sir, we cannot process this page because <laughs> you've got block on. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much to handle. <laughs> Do your <laughs> impression of Stephen Hawking. Hello there, my name is Stephen Hawking. That's the same as the other one, really. Help me feel love again. <laughs> <laughs> Help me feel love. Do your and then uh, I have I have this impression of a teddy bear, which is what I imagine teddy bears would right. would sound like. Love me. Right. Yeah. Touch I have as me. Well. Hello, I'm a teddy bear. That's yeah. the only yeah, impression yeah, yes, it is. Gareth can do. do no, I can do loads more. Do, do you want to hear some more? No. What? Why? I need. I need to say something. What? Oh no! I've got to cut down on the coffee. <laughs> do why? You need a wee. <laughs> yeah. Desperately. <laughs> Go on, Michael. Give me some more. Go on, Michael. <laughs> Go on, Michael. <laughs> Don't knock the camera. Where's he going? He's going for a wee. <laughs> Midway through the podcast. Oh, Don't brilliant. knock the camera. Yeah. Don't knock the cam. Oh, oh, is he about oh, to knock oh, the camera? Oh, he can't. He can't. Oh, well done. Michael. He really needs a wee. Michael's going for a wee. Mid do podcast. the X Factor voiceover man for us. Actually, I need to do some client work after this <laughs> for <laughs> my client work. Uh, for my what? thing. So actually, I could rehearse it now if yeah. you want to. Go on, yeah. Uh, Who is it? The, 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 could the you do F1. maybe the um, X Factor voiceover man as a computer? Uh, that's, that's actually impossible, I think, maybe. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me. Client my, work. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, I'm actually nicking the voiceover man's work now. Okay. That's um. <coughs> Come on. Uh, okay. Here we go. All right. So uh, some guy um, called Paul asked me to do some stuff for him. Nice um, one, Paul. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time. That's it. The living legend that is Bobby Boucher. How much has he paid for that? Uh, a fiver. A fiver? Yeah. That it, isn't even worth doing. It's on this website called Fiver. Incredible website. If, if you don't have it already, if you're like a freelancer, Fiverr's amazing. That you can, you can get people to do stuff for a fiver. I could do him one for £2.50 in right, my no, only fine. voice I can do. No, yeah, I'll have a quick... Go. quick go at it there. Which are we doing? It's that one there. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, that's this good. time has come. The living legend, Bobby Boucher. Yeah, that's pretty good, that. There you go. Yeah, it's good. £2.50's worth that. Uh, oh, Michael's back. Oh, hi, Michael. Don't Hello. don't hit the thing. He's about to turn 50. Yes, it's the big 5 -oh. He's paid £5 for that, everyone. Has he? What a waste of money. It was the big 5 -o. Yeah, there we go. So, um, can you do any, Michael? No impressions. You sound very wheezy, Michael. What were you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> there was a, I can't oh, believe. Very quick. It's not Co butter. Coffee has had that effect on me. Why? Coffee it was black. Well, when it came out. more than two cups worth came out then. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> good grief! Have you ever thought how much wee would there be if you just cupped it? If you put it all in a cup instead of in the toilet. I had to do that once. Was there a lot? So did I. I had to fill <laughs> up. Right, as you know, I was uh, brutally. 
rushed into hospital due to my kidney stone problem, etc., etc. Yeah. And uh, I had to keep a week's worth of wee in in this massive vat. Oh. It was the most disgusting thing ever. It was this. It was like That's a rank. big a big plastic pot like that, which had acid inside it, which preserves it. Oh. And he actually um, then asked he us drank because it. it <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Thank you, Mr. Cottrell. He mm. <laughs> <laughs> <It was laughs> pours himself a cup. Why? No, no. no Are you, you joining me, Mr. Cottrell? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cottrell. Thank you very much for that. I have been asking for people to volunteer their way. <laughs> what? You don't need it for medical testing? Nope. I just enjoy the taste. And I must say, oh, yours is a good year. <laughs> um, anyway, I had to keep a full week's worth. And it was this little funnel. Sorry, big funnel, <laughs> which, I had to, which I had to wee into. And he told us, he says, you must not wee directly into the funnel because there's acid in it. And he had this bloke last week who just weed directly oh, into no. the thing. Or came back up. And his, and his mini-me ac- actually got sulfuric oh. acid on the end of it. Oh, my God. And he said Can you that, how painful that it all bubbled up. Oh, on the top of it, it bubbled up. Like he said, That's right. a big skip. Oh, what? The crisps, oh. skips. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a disgusting thought? You know what his mates call him? What? Skip it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's calling him something else that rhymes with skip. Well, I've got a story about what? P. Skip. What? D I C K, skip. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it wasn't as funny as it was in my head. When I was in hospital, yes. I had a catheter fitted. Did Ooh. you? And it, well, it didn't hurt. Oh, was right. it pleasurable? No, it's just uh, you never feel like you want to go to the toilet. But if you <laughs> if you look down at the side of your bed, the bag's full. You think, <laughs> how did that happen? It, it's brilliant. <laughs> No, really? Yeah. So you, like, you, you actually... You, uh, think, it just comes think, out just yeah. without thinking. It's almost mental weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's all That's there. amazing. And you're thinking about it in your head and then it just comes out. Oh. Is that the case? Yeah. That's amazing. No, I, I didn't even have to think about it. I just is looked it the at, same oh, look, I've, I've been. Have, I've been. <laughs> is it the same if you have one up, up the other end? No idea. No, no, it's trying. Weird, is anyone isn't got it? a tube? One tube thing a bag. I had was morphine. Which oh, was the morphine, most yeah. incredible feeling ever. Ever had morphine? No. It was just... I was in so much pain at the time, and it was just all over me. And they injected me, and it was like hot water being poured over your head. And it just continued yeah, to really go cool. all the way down. I remember. I loved it. Um, which I is had... why I'm now addicted to crack. <laughs> 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 Apart from that... So, uh, when, I, uh, when I had my appendix out, okay, I... Um, <clears throat> I had morphine and all that, I had the operation, then the next day I woke up and I had to have a wee, okay? Now, even to stand up when you had your appendix out is the most painful thing. So I stood up and then the nurse walked me to the toilet and then she 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 stood outside and, you know, it was pretty hard to just wee, you know? So I was in there for quite a while trying to have a wee while in excruciating pain from just ripping, you know, because I didn't have key on, I had to have, like, my hold stomach like you know so it was really painful and then i came out and then i was let out of hospital early because they thought that i went for a number two and not a number one <laughs> <laughs> because i was so long in there so if i hadn't i might still be in there i might you know it, waiting for yeah. that all important number two <laughs> even even though it was about eight years ago but i mean that, because they went have you been to the toilet i went yeah just not thinking, and then they, they let me out early because they thought that you know everything was working. If so. you didn't go for a number two or even a one for ages, think you where does it go to? Do you think does you it burst? just build up? And just yeah, because you always feel bloated, yeah. don't you? When you you know when you need to go, you feel bloated. What? What? I just talk, Alex. Oh, it's okay. it doesn't matter. Fifty-five minutes. Oh, well, great bit. stuff. One final thing. Um, I was there in the ward trying to get some sleep and I wish there was some sort of filter system where noisy patients can go in a different ward to the ones who aren't noisy and a guy came in right I'm yeah, laughing now but at the time I was furious I was in agony I just dropped off and then he was he was wheeled in on this wheelchair because he was choking on a piece of pork <laughs> Which had got stuck in his throat, okay? He'd been trying his very best to cough it up all night. But the funny <laughs> thing is, it was actually 
making him talk like the <laughs> devil. <laughs> <laughs> he was stuck in his throat and he said, going, <laughs> I've tried to cut this off and, and, and it just won't shift. And uh, then a northern between, devil. <laughs> in between. Yeah, in between. Hey, oh, cock up and whip me. In between the sentences, he was trying to cough it up even more. So he's there, retching, going, I've tried to... <laughs> <laughs> Coffee up all night and it's not working. I remember, I remember when... Um, so I really didn't want to eat hospital food when I was there. And I remember my dad went to my favourite Chinese takeout, got Chinese takeout for me and brought it into the ward. And some woman came in and went, what are you doing? He went, I'm having Chinese. What are you doing? She went, can I have some? Did she? Yeah. And I was like, no, back away. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, really I was in the rude. ward oh, really with some rude. right crackpots. I felt really sorry, yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't. Ask that anyone that was in hospital with uh, with Gareth. Laugh again, but this this really old bloke. He was so frail in the night. He fell out of bed. <coughs> right, but if <laughs> if any of us fell out of bed, you would hear an almighty thud because he was so frail. Mm. It was like. A piece of piece of paper. <laughs> he just, just he just came down. <laughs> he was like a sort like of a feather. He, he, he was literally like this, <laughs> and then a uh, so falling out of bed. And it took like the staff. Feather. It took the staff such a long time to actually come in there. I was I was tempted to actually wake up, get out of bed, okay. and just put him over my shoulder <laughs> and just put him back in bed. I can just imagine this feather falling to the floor. I've got, I've got a funny story. I've got a funny story from hospital. Have you? Go yeah, on. when a friend of mine was in. It's absolutely true, it happened. During the night, one of the nurses came in, woke him up and said, time for your sleeping pill. Really? No. Is that true? Yeah. No. Yeah. What? Oh, my goodness. We have a story. Our friend Johnny... <laughs> Okay, our friend John. No, 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 you can't no. say that. I can say that. I don't think we can. Can say I not? That. No, no, we can't no. say that. No, okay, no, no. Are you no. sure? Yes, yes. But <laughs> Why got, it's funny? Yeah, but no, it, it, it <laughs> takes the biscuit. But you can't say it. But um, <laughs> another thing as well, right? They um, told us and says, right, um, until um, <laughs> this comes out of you, you can't go home. So. I was there, right, filling up all these wee pots, right, and I thought that the staff were actually siphoning through it, checking it, and then I realised I was filling them up, leaving them at the bedside. And someone was drinking them. And, this, and these porters walking up, emptying them down the sink. And I asked him, I says, whoa, hold on a minute, these are all being being kept for the purpose of being being checked, it isn't just me being lazy. <laughs> and he went, Oh, <laughs> I was like, Well, now, how do I know if I've passed it or not? I don't know, maybe I don't know. Anyway, that's enough rambling for us. I think Michael needs to go to the toilet again. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, drink all that, man. That's your worst nightmare. That. Can you imagine drinking all that? I don't like milk like that either. Um, anyway, that's it for the Cottrell cast this week. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Subscribe to us on iTunes if you haven't already. That means you get the latest episode downloaded straight to your phone or computer. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Cottrellcast. Every episode is filmed and then posted on there as well. Share it about with all your friends on Facebook and Twitter. You can find me and Gareth on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is Sal Fraser. Gareth is what? Weekend Wireless. There you go. Thanks very much for listening and uh, we'll we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>